they like that. They like yep. that property. And what I would say is, um, don't complicate your life. If you're buying in a foreign country and you don't speak the language, you know, don't complicate your life by trying to buy something that could be tricky or complicated or with no title or with somebody who died because believe me, there are plenty of good opportunities where it can be very smooth. You know, once you have experience or once you've moved here, once you live here and you kind of have like a, a tougher skin to be able to withstand craziness, <laughs> things that may seem like they don't make any sense because many things don't make any sense. Like, why is this happening? Or why is there no title? And I get these questions, and I, I like to tell my buyers, listen, don't come and try to buy some farmland in the middle of nowhere and think you're going to build a house and build a well and have chickens and goats as your first purchase. No, I mean, some people have that as their dream. It's like, not yet. You know, don't go there first because you're going to have a lot of complications. You're going to have to try to build. You're going to have to find builders. You're going to have to dig a well. It's just complicated. And at the end of the day, you could have a bad experience. And then you're talking about how, you know, in the Dominican Republic, nothing works. And I, and I, I take those kind of comments very seriously because I take the responsibility to give my clients a good experience. So I'm always going to recommend that for your first investment, Go with something that is simple, that is smooth, where it's a reputable builder, where you can get your contract, where you understand. And then if you decide that you want to move here and get more creative, then do that. But definitely, if you live outside of the country, I definitely would not recommend that as a first purchase. You know, because I definitely see my clients as repeat buyers. You come, you buy one, you invest, you sell, you go and buy something else. So have that first experience be something that is that can be very smooth so that you can get your experience. Come here, learn some Spanish, learn your way around. There's a lot of things that you will need to do. So buying a complicated property is definitely not something I would definitely recommend as a first, right?